What's up lads, welcome back for another Guy Ritchie film. Really excited to check out The Gentleman today. After loving Snatch recently, had to check out another one of his films. And I believe this is his most recent film. Actually, no, scratch that. I think, didn't he come out with one recently called like Wrath of Man or something like that? Either way, definitely one of his more recent films at the very least. And the cover of it kind of reminds me of Snatch a little bit with an ensemble cast. And I recognize a couple faces and so I'm excited to see what he does with a different group of people here and if the story's similar at all or if it's just a completely different style and everything either way hopefully you guys enjoy watching along with me for it if you do definitely consider leaving a thumbs up and of course you can check out the full length reaction on my patreon link for that in the description below but without further ado let's hop into the gentleman if you wish to be the king of the jungle it's not enough to act like a king you must be the king there can be no doubt. Dialogue sounds like it's just ripped straight from one of his Lincoln commercials, but I love it. I don't think you could look any more suave than he does right now. Hello, my love. Nine o'clock, you and I, River Cafe. Who's there? Roz, who's there? Wait, what the heck, bro? <laughs> we just start off with him dying? No way! Was that like a preview of what's to come in the film? That was so not what I was expecting. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Hugh Grant again! This is gonna be a very different role I'm expecting from Paddington 2. This intro reminds me of a James Bond intro though. Very cool. Music is great too. Ching, ching. Fletcher. Buenos tardes, Ramundo. <laughs> Dang, love the lighting in this room right now. I'm worried anybody could die at this point. Your boss has very, very deep pockets. If you would be so kind as to furnish me with 20 million British pounds, I will give you everything. And a modest little screenplay I wrote all by myself. <laughs> That is some mad cash they're talking about, holy. But maybe it is the same character he plays in Paddington 2 if he's writing his own scripts and whatnot. I'm gonna tell you a story to demonstrate why my quote is my quote. You play a game with me, Ray? I don't wanna play a game. I said play a game with me, Ray. <laughs> oh, it doesn't sound like an option anymore. Yikes, got real serious. Imagine a character, but not digital, analog, old school 35 mil. Now, seeing this through a lens, I am. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this is awesome. I love the effects and stuff. So creative. This man's charismatic, even though he's terrifying. Enter our protagonist. His name is Mickey. American-born Rhodes Scholar. So he's born clever, but poor. <laughs> this is great, man. I love how they're doing this. He was a hungry animal, you see. He had to do some naughty things to get where he got. He's earned his position, shall we say. <laughs> Yeah, based off what I'm seeing right now, definitely earned. I guess he's being the king, as he was talking about in the beginning. He wants to cash in his chips and get out of the game. And he seems to have found the perfect customer. Bottom line is, I'll sell it to you for 400 million. Hop in. Man, they're talking about so much money. Oh my gosh. What would it be worth to have the power to be able to pull the plug on an operation like that? Cunning and creative toad, aren't you, Fletcher? Coming up with a plan like this? It was Big Dave. I mean, so far it does feel kind of similar to Snatch and the style and the dialogue and everything like that, which is a good thing, obviously. Your man Mickey made my man Dave feel like a right idiot. Valley print. Yes. Dave had gone after one of Mickey's lords. Proper tabloid job on him. <laughs> oh shoot, so it all started because of that. That's insane. Such a little thing you'd think. Seems like this Dave guy was successful based off the first scene. There is a reason why Matthew cannot work out how Mickey does what he does. You can't just dig a hole in the ground and drop 200 shipping containers in there. You have to be creative. <laughs> I'm really enjoying this so far. The way it's edited and everything keeps it feeling very fast paced. Every time you inherit a fortune, you lose half to the state. This is my moment to swoop in and offer my services so they can keep their houses in order. And they're not too bothered about what I do. <laughs> he seems like a pretty genius plan to me. This is one smart man right here. My infrastructure, what you are paying for. Such a shame it will go bankrupt in 10 years when things go legal in the great UK. And you want me to pay top dollar for it? A nugget under half a yard? <laughs> <laughs> oh my, I love the extra subtitles right there. That's great. Somehow I don't think it's going to go out of business though. Otherwise this guy wouldn't be talking to him. England's green and pleasant land. 
Holy crap, man. That's so much stuff. He's got an entire empire down here. Yes, it's a win-win, no matter how you look at it. And I'm not greedy. You and I both know that 400 million is a fair to generous asking price. I mean, it's more money than I could ever hope to see, but with everything he's describing, it seems like the deal of a lifetime for this guy. Love the lighting in here, too. Let us turn to our antagonist. Dry eye. What is he? Chinese? Japanese? Pekingese? Get on your knees. <laughs> I love this dialogue. I love the music coming in too. Is this entire movie gonna be told by Hugh Grant's character? Kind of a clever take. Like a Chinese James Bond. Good lord. Oh, yikes, man. This is dark stuff. I recognize that guy. I don't know his name, but he's the one in Crazy Rich Asians, right? I quoted you for a 20 when it's a 40 footer. A gentleman's quote is a gentleman's word. Now, either you or your family are going to have to pay for that lesson. <laughs> oh, this man is intimidating. I wouldn't mess with him. Seems like a pretty capable antagonist to me. I think the time has come to introduce you to our queen. Cockney Cleopatra to Mickey's Cowboy Caesar. <laughs> Man, Guy Ritchie really went off with the script writing this dialogue. Love the car, though, man. That looks so nice. Looks like the deal's going through. If word spreads that you're getting out, that could read as weakness. And if you smell smoke, it's because there's a fire. And that could get expensive. Well, I guess that's good news if the deal is going through. Seemed like that was the direction it was heading in the other scene, though. Why are you wasting our time? I find you very impatient, Raymond. I am a storyteller. As they say in a film game, I'm laying pipe. Well, you better put something through it soon. <laughs> this is great. It's almost like Guy Ritchie is that character telling us the story. Very clever. Is there any chance of a steak? Yeah, all right. Got a bit of wagyu in the freezer as it happens. Oh, I never had wagyu. <laughs> Oh man, he actually agreed to it. I thought he was just gonna tell him off. When he first showed up, I thought he was gonna kind of be more intimidating and aggressive, but it seems like they're warming up. Night night, Aslan. Oh my gosh, dude, what? Man's just keeping a body casually in there with the food. That's messed up. I mean, with your husband. That's not gonna happen. Keep the parts. Consider a gesture of goodwill. Try, I ain't got his little sit down with Michael. Everyone knows that the way to a man's heart is through his wife. I love all the set design of everything in this film so far. Feels very Kingsman-like. Everything is so fancy and proper. I hear you're getting out of the game, and I would like you to consider an offer. This is not a discussion for the two of us. Unlike the salt and pepper, it's not on the table. <laughs> Man's quick with those lines. I'm impressed. Does he want to offer to buy the business as well? I think it's too late. <laughs> Man, that's such a brilliant way of doing that. Just hearing each typing. You know that's a freaking massive number. You're several zeros short. This is a big number. And this? Oh, this is a big gun. Oh gosh, man, he's still got it. He underestimated him. Hurts, does it? There's only one rule in this jungle. When the lion's hungry, he eats. <laughs> oh my gosh, man, that was intense, dude. That's not how Michael works. I know, it's just having a bit of fun. Every movie needs a bit of action. Yeah. Oh my gosh, this is actually brilliant. I love it. That would have been pretty cool if that was how it went down. There once was a young and foolish dragon who came to ask a wise and cunning lion about acquiring his territory. The lion, he wasn't interested, so he told the little dragon to f off. <laughs> This is inception levels of storytelling. We're in a movie script where someone's telling a story about another guy telling a story. Things started to unravel after that meeting. Didn't Mickey get a rat infestation? Oh my gosh, man. They're not gonna give up until he relinquishes, are they? It's kind of interesting that we're watching him tell this story to somebody who's privy to everything already. Do you know who owns this guy? Oi, turns off! Fancy a row? Who are these jokers? They want our gear. Oh, <laughs> oh, they're just gonna keep bringing in more and more people. I love it. One by one. I don't think they stand a chance. Three. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude, that cut was great. We didn't even get to see it go down. What is this joke, man? 
Don't stand near me, son. You got your mouthwash muddled up with cat piss. Take two steps back and wait your turn. <laughs> oh, finally, he's in the movie. I forgot I saw him in the intro. He's got an interesting look. Yeah. 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 Now, if you're gonna stab, stab, don't, you know, dance. What are you, like a Four Tops tribute act or something? <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is fantastic. Maybe we will see a throwdown after all. Putting the gay back in Marvin Gay. I'm on fire over here, lads. Come on, I need some back and forth. What do you got for me? Now make it quick. Make it funny. You! Jeez, that's disappointing. <laughs> Oh my, I would be intimidated if I saw this guy just having fun with it. He's fully in control. You are embarrassing yourself here, lads. Grown-ups, fight with their heads. That's where the real battle is. <laughs> Man, beating him up and giving him a lesson. This is great. What an excellent character introduction. Are you the coach? Coach, it's Ernie. Ernie, what is it? We've rung the bell here, and we're going to include you. You're our mentor. We've landed a load of sticky bush. Oh my gosh, man. What a great way to show what actually happened right there. And they answered why they were able to handle things by introducing the coach right there. That's so clever. I might have to take off the door. Pull up in a ding, go straight for the hole in the floor. He said, Benny, because I never get cracked. Man's egg got cracked and his legs went jelly. <laughs> Dude, Guy Ritchie has so much fun with his films, man. There's so much energy to him. Just bursting with style. Fighting team man at airport is putting a double leg cape on. Why are we watching fight porn, right? Because it's fight porn at one of my farms. Man, the audacity to not only do this to him, but film it. Just making a mockery of his business. Is that what I think it is? The best version of it. Tell me you didn't put that fight porn online. It's gone into galactic. Take it down. Now! I've got to say, I was impressed. <laughs> Oh man, the editing is elite. Maybe Coach isn't a bad guy after all. I was thinking maybe he helped organize it. Brings me neatly back to Big Dave's story. This is how Big Dave is going to bring Mickey down by using and abusing Lord Pressfield's child. Oh my gosh, man. That's kind of messed up going after somebody's kid like that if I'm interpreting it right. He's not holding back. We miss her terribly, Mickey. Sounds as though Laura fell in with the wrong crowd. You mind if I look into it? So you'll help us. Let me see what I can do. Oh, I feel like this is just what they want him to do, getting involved. The plan is working so far. They've asked us to find her, bring her home. I did some due diligence. I know where she is, and I don't like it. I'd rather we didn't get involved. Oh, here we go. Maybe they're smart enough to realize that there's some foul play. Love the framing and lighting of this scene, though. Can't you send Fraser instead? You're my best man. I want you. And this is where you have your moment, isn't it, Raimondo? Knock, 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 knock. <laughs> So creative the way they transition between them talking together and watching everything happen ourselves. How can I help you, officer? I'm not the police. I just need a moment of your time. It's about Laura Pressfield. I don't know anyone on that name. <laughs> oh, I think he does. This man is pretty paranoid, probably understandably. That's a nice whip, bro. Shame about them rims, though. Yeah, lend us the keys. <laughs> You should have chosen the easy way, man. Now he's gonna get in some trouble. He was probably already in trouble, though, to be fair. Man, everyone in this film is doing such a great job at looking like they're a part of something big. Just the way they're carrying themselves, they look so official. I know all your names. Apart from that little anomaly, I know who your parents are. And I know you are. Suck a cock for a five pound bag. Now sit. <laughs> Such great delivery, man. So intimidating. They better not say another word. I work for a man. A powerful man. Michael Pearson. Who's Michael Pearson? Friend of her father's. Runs London's buff game. What is your name, young man? Aslan. Oh, Aslan's the one that he has in the freezer. Shoot, that guy has a rough fate. How do we get to that point? Your father's asked us to bring you home. She's not going anywhere. What are you benching these days? Three wheels aside. What about you, Brown? What could I lift? You couldn't lift a wheel of cheese, you... <laughs> oh my gosh, man, fantastic. Such a great way to exert dominance without even being loud or anything. Do your mom and dad a favor and try the impossible. Make yourself happy. All right. That was easy. Well, in that case, Bunny, will you help Laura with the things, please? I'm nervous, man. Something has to go wrong for that one guy to end up in a freezer. Don't go, please. Wait. <laughs> Touch me again, I'll cut your arm off. Oh, 
Oh, here we go, man. Now things are starting. Dang it. They almost got out clean. Keep the kids in school for one minute. My mom probably wants to buy weed. What? In a loud pack <laughs> Man, this is so well done. And they've done such an excellent job so far of setting up all the players, similar to Snatch, where you'd feel like with all the characters, all the situations. Oh my gosh, they really thought that would do something. He didn't even flinch with that hit. Maybe now's not the time for me to be analyzing. He's bought you a gun. That's a nice little gift. Yo, what? So that's how he dies. He just gets thrown off. Oh, man, that's brutal. Laura Pressfield has been returned home safely. What else? One of her associates had an accident. He fell out of a window, boss. That sounds like quite an extreme accident. <laughs> Dude, the editing's so good. I can't believe people saw that. Do they have to kill them now? It was the gravity that killed him. It was he. <laughs> Nothing was recorded. We left it clean. Oh my. <laughs> so excellent the way he transitions between scenes and stuff. Or between settings. Bet you told Mickey nothing about what happened. Efficient Fletcher. What's that young man doing? Is he looking for something on the floor? <laughs> Oh my gosh, dude, the evidence is out there. What the heck? I would have thought Mickey was the one who caused all the problems, but it was him. Bro, this guy's trying to take my phone. How are you gonna put your one out of this one, mate? Easy, lads. I'm not trying to steal it. I'm trying to buy it. What this one? How much? He's smart, man. Knows how to handle the situation. That's one way to keep him quiet. Give me the phone and take the money. Drop the money and run, boy. Oh, he's gonna have to kill them all, isn't he? This has spiraled out of control. Put the phone on the ground. <laughs> Dude, Charlie Hunnam's killing it for one, but I did not realize he had that kind of firepower on him. Can I use your toilet? Just a pee pee. Shoes off inside. Yes, mommy. You should put your running shoes today, bro. You say. Yo, nice start right there. That was excellent. These kids do not realize what they're mixed up in. Phone. Sorry about that. <laughs> She's the smartest one of all. Just came willingly without trouble. But I love how they introduce scenes like that and then introduce another player later on to put a spin on it. Is there a problem here, Ray? I don't know. Is there a problem here, Fletcher? I see no problem at all. <laughs> Dude, what a great scene, man. The timing is impeccable. He can't talk his way out of that anymore. The evidence there clear as day. Did you get that Chinese fella's name? Fuck. What? Clack the PH. Don't get straight with me, Ernie. Where does he live? Posh Park Croydon. There is no Posh Park Croydon. <laughs> I don't know where Croydon is, but I assume if you're British, you'd get that joke. I found out he's weed we took. And now you tell me! Just tell me his name isn't Mickey Pierce. Blimey, coach, you're a gypsy too. Been reading tea leaves, got a crystal ball. Oh my gosh, man. He realized he messed up so bad just by association, unfortunately. I'd like to extend my apologies on their behalf. Now I can return your goods, but I can't return the inconvenience. And so I offer you my loyalty, my ward, my time. Nice, man. That seems like a real genuine offer right there. And we've seen how capable he is in a fight. You might need him. I'm going to need to know how your lads got the information about where our farm was sighted. I can do better than that. His name is Fahok, but it's spelled with a PH, so it sounds like Fahok. <laughs> My gosh, great line right there. So fantastic. He came prepared. He was ready for this. Don't do it stupid now, son, right? <gasps> How did you know the location? I need my data. In a minute. <laughs> I love the way they're shooting this as well. The camera angles are fantastic. I can't breathe. I need that face. All right, Fahok, calm the Fahok. Down. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> That was great. Everyone's style in this movie is so good as well. Can't mention that enough. Take a blame. You all right? Oh my God. Say, Ray, you need to invest in some parachutes. <laughs> Genius editing, man. So cool. What an unfortunate circumstance. <laughs> the timing could not have been worse. Oh, George, what you watching? I'm watching the horse racing, my only vice. I'd say your eyebrows deep in every vice known to man. 
<laughs> he came in here all confident, ready to talk. Everyone's so interested in keeping their cover. You see, my jam, it doesn't kill anyone. And I like that. Well, your poison is and always has been the destroyer of worlds. Very interesting. They have a very different perspective of each other. <laughs> You're starting a war with me, George. And I'm trying to moonwalk with elegance here, but I'm finding it very difficult. <laughs> Yo, is this time for real? He's actually getting all intense. You raided one of my locations. You know the rules, George. What the f*** are you thinking? <laughs> Man, he can get real scary when he wants to. Love the soundtrack, though. I can see you're feeling somewhat under the weather. It's because I spiked your tea. Left unattended, you will shit yourself to death. <laughs> That's so extreme. He does not mess around. No question this guy is at the top of the food chain. If I can get to you in your own kitchen, I can get to you anywhere. Man, this is so well done. I love all the players and all the interchanging stories. Fuck did this behind your back. Did without my blessing. You did go behind my back and offer to buy his business. Yeah, I did. There comes a point where the young succeed the old. This man is way too power hungry. He doesn't care who he's talking to. That's gotta come back and bite him, right? Someone killed Lord George. But should we continue with our little story? Did he actually die? What? I feel like that might have been Dry Eye that killed him. You play Dry Eye, I should be Matthew. I'm so there glad that incident. guy Richie is still making Take films. It's a bit wooden. Put something into it, you know, a bit welly. <laughs> Oh man, every time I try and mention something, something else creative happens. Last thing you need to do is attract any octopus. Octopus? It's not a very good translation. No, there's nothing wrong with the translation. Matthew's not that fluent. And action. <laughs> Such a genius scene. I'm loving this. Guy Richie's a master. There will be repercussions. Don't stroke my mouse hair. Does mouse hair mean? I admit that one's a bit of a googly. <laughs> Oh man, this is such a brilliant way of doing this scene. Don't know if I've ever seen this before. And then Dry Eye says something, but some moved in front of me, so I didn't get that either. I'm gonna take it all. You will pay me my respect. There, you have it. That's all I've got. Oh my gosh, dude, right at the perfect moment. That sucks. I wonder if that was a coincidence that someone stood up there. We already know Matthew wants to buy my club. Why is that news? We are gonna come to the news. I am approaching my climax. I love the meta ways of doing this story. Guy Ritchie's basically just talking directly to us. Hello, Roz. Yo, here we go. Finally get to see what happened. So much context for this scene now. We're closed. Hang on. No. Hang on. Phone up. Oh, so that's why he asked who was there. Oh, gosh. What are you doing here, dry eye? Oh, it's warming up now, isn't it? Dude, this is so well done. I love the way it's edited, man. This is Guy Ritchie at his best, I feel like. Was he? I'm not exactly sure what happened. What? Oh, they pulled the fast one on us. My gosh, I can't believe it. I should have guessed that that was a possibility. He's not picking up. Rosalind, don't be alarmed. Are you going to come with me until I can resolve all these issues with your husband? Just like what they were talking about before, easiest way to get to a man is through his wife. Oh man, stuff is happening. Holy crap. They filmed that very well. Tony. Is that a paperweight? Funny you should say that. Turns out anything with weight can be a paperweight. Well, what are you gonna do with it? Well, that's up to you, isn't it? <laughs> this writing is genius. It feels like every conversation is like a song and dance. So eloquent. Tony, get on it. Brilliant, <laughs> man. She called his bluff. Or he called hers, but was incorrect. At least I think. Calm down. I'm leaving. <laughs> oh man, that guy was so dumb. How could you? She's a good shot. I guess that's your two bullets, eh? <laughs> Yo, this is tense, man. I don't know if he's gonna make it in time. The music is so good. 
Hello, babe. I love it, man. Brilliant filmmaking. The fear was so clear in his face. The news that you're asking about before it was Matthew who told Dry Eye the location of Mickey's farm to cause ripples and reduce the market value. Oh, fascinating, man. This is quite the intricate plot. But what he did not plan on was Dry Eye killing Lord George. Dry Eye does not want to be subservient to Matthew anymore. <laughs> Oh man, what a chain of events. This is excellent. So impressive to come up with all this. I'm impressed. Thank you very much. So you've got 72 hours. If anything happens to me, I do have my insurance policy in place. Everything will go to Big Dave. <laughs> Man, this is so well done. I would echo his comments towards Guy Ritchie. I am very impressed. Can't park there, mate. Move the van. We'll be gone in a minute. We're not a newspaper. Oh, they're filming something else. Shoot, what's about to go down? They're gonna kidnap him? Spunk bubble. Get rid of the van. I'm warning you, Russ does karate. <laughs> These guys. <laughs> Puts his hands up. These guys are freaking capable too. Sorry, boss. I'm only a blue belt. <laughs> you melt. He <laughs> just gives up. That's fantastic. Man's paying for his sins. They have no need to panic. Now, I believe you're a reporter. There's something I want to report to you. Last night, I made a film with an impressively sized farmyard pig. Oh, gosh, bro. Is that why he doesn't have his clothes? Oh, that's awful. The ultimate blackmail. My gosh. The only thing you need to do to stop this little creative expression from becoming a social media sensation is lose any interest you have in the future of Mickey Pearson. I'm going to leave you now to clean yourself up. Holy crap, man. What kind of punishment? That's so awful. He will never touch him again, I feel like. Mickey. I mean, I was there and I'm still shocked. Is that who I think it is? Yeah. And that's your doing. <laughs> His face. I'm so glad they're not showing us just seeing their reactions. That is plenty. I calculate what was worth 400 million a month ago must now be valued at an anemic 130. Wow, man, they freaking cut it more than half off. Matthew has no idea that Mickey knows everything already, though. At least I don't think he does. The question I ask is who tumbled the first domino? Let me introduce you to the first domino. What a reveal. That was so well done, dude. Matthew is a dead man walking. There is a price indebted to me, according to you, $270 million. You are getting in the freezer, and you will make that transaction if you want to get out of the freezer. <laughs> Dude, this is excellent. Everything came crashing down so excellently. I am emotional about the fact that someone laid their hands on my wife. My wife! For that. I want a pound of flesh. Oh my, <laughs> this is terrifying. I love the music coming in right after that delivery though. Or is it waggy you again for breakfast, Raymond? Oh man, what a brilliant cut to the next shot being meat cooked. Done such an amazing job building up all the characters and all the plot to have that moment land so great. That doesn't look like 20 million pounds. Your insurance policy? It's not the only one, darling. What do you think's in there? You need you. I've been on to you for a long time. <laughs> oh my gosh, man. They've been playing them. So many twists and turns. They really are kings of the jungle. It took us a while to find your insurance policies. Shoes off inside. It was made a lot easier after I planted a tracker in your shoe. Oh my gosh, dude, this is brilliant. All of this was happening the whole time and none of us were the wiser. What an amazing script. It wasn't Lord George that was after Mickey. Do you wanna know who it was? Right, you've got 30 seconds. Thank you, darling. <laughs> I can't believe that he was freaking stuck in there. My goodness. Don't tell me there's going to be another twist. We're going to take care of this for you. The Michael situation. Right. Now, you remember Aslan, don't you? Well, this is Aslan Senior, Russian oligarch. Oh, my gosh, dude. There's twists on twists on twists. This is insane, man. I'm loving it. They're going to get Michael when he comes out of his meeting at the fish market. 
Dave. Dave. Oh my gosh, dude, that'd be so frightening. He was just too late. What happens now, man? Yo, shout out to that man. He has come in clutch so many times. I love how everything's working together. <laughs> Are you kidding me? They just freaking saved him without even knowing. This is insane, man. I need an ending. No, 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 my darling. What you need is a sequel. Think it's over. Have a read. Got a plane to catch. <laughs> insanely meta dude what in the world this is great i don't think i've ever seen anything like this heathrow airport please terminal three buenas tardes fletchamondo <laughs> i don't think he's getting a sequel he is done right here he's got fletcher if you wish to be the king of the jungle it's not enough to act like a king you must be the king agent Yo, what? <laughs> that was unbelievable. That's one of the most well-written scripts I think I've watched. Just so intricate. Every little detail was so planned out and all the characters, the way he worked them in together was just masterful. There's been some amazing Guy Ritchie movies, but I don't know. I'd have to think hard about it. This may be the best I've seen. It's just so well done. And I mean, the script and the writing alone is enough to make a wildly entertaining film. But the fact that you have Guy Ritchie's filmmaking style as well just made it such an entertaining ride from start to finish. Some of his most creative work I think and the cast was perfect it felt like everybody was just nailing their role it felt like some of the roles were almost written for some of the actors which it could have been since Guy Ritchie did do the script himself and I love how it was told in such a interesting unique perspective where basically for most of the movie at least up to a certain point Fletcher is just giving an account of things and we're cutting back and forth I thought that was excellent but once we kind of catch up to the future and start going forward it just got even better in my opinion obviously I was mentioning a couple times the connection to Snatch and it feels somewhat in a similar style just because of the number of players and the way that people interwork and connect but at the same time it still feels very much like its own thing definitely one of the best most exciting filmmakers working today though <laughs> can't wait to see what he does next I was blown away by this film I really can't believe what Guy Ritchie was able to accomplish with this and I keep saying him specifically obviously because he directed and wrote the script but shout Shout out to everybody that was involved with the production of this, especially the editor, whoever did the editing, if it was multiple people, the whole group, because that was definitely one of my favorite aspects of it. And on the point of that, it's pretty incredible all the shots that they got and all the settings they did for this because of how fast paced the editing was because there were certain moments where you'd have a whole setup and it'd only be a one or two second shot so just the scale of this film is really quite impressive they did not spare any expense to quote John Hammond and so it definitely shows there's so much energy and passion into this you can really tell that everyone working on it was excited about the project and the soundtrack was great I know I talked about it while watching but I loved how most of the moments where it was noticeable was when it was used almost like a punchline to a moment or something like that which I think is a brilliant way to do it not just as kind of this background thing that you're listening to but as almost like a character itself to help accentuate certain moments and the costume design the hair and makeup all of that group nailed it as well it felt like so many aspects of this film so many different parts were working at their best because it all came together to make such a brilliant film and I believe I said it in snatch but I'll say it again here that Guy Ritchie is definitely one of the best at making 
a very confusing and intricate plot very understandable with the quality of his filmmaking and everything like that because there were so many moving pieces in this but I felt like I was able to get a good grasp on it and knew everything that was happening nothing really ever confused me too much at times maybe I was wondering what something meant in the moment but then they answered it later on so just so well written so well acted so well shot all of the above so well done so hopefully you all enjoyed watching along with me for it if you did definitely consider leaving a thumbs up helps the video out a lot and of course you can check out the full length reaction on my patreon link for that in the description below but until the next movie look forward to seeing you all later cheerio lads Oh, it's warming up now, isn't it?